greetings, it is I, Brickiel. But you know that because you clicked the video and you're hopefully subscribed. The Emperor likes when you subscribe. Anyway, behold, citizen, the Imperial Guard. They watch over you in vast numbers of troops, which is not represented here because many figures are expensive. But hey, we got some cool builds. So uh, let's start with uh, the Sentinel, because it's the biggest and it's in the way. Let me scooch him forward. Is he in the middle? There he goes. There. This is an Elysian class uh, drop Sentinel. Uh, this is the second Sentinel I built. I, I have lost the pictures of the first one I did. It was mostly similar. Uh, I do regret that I can't get it strong enough to stand up without the help of uh, some clear supports. But uh, that's just kind of the nature of a uh, two-legged walker that leans forward with most of the mass up there. But, uh, you know, it looks pretty cool. This one is armed with a melta cannon. There is a optics package up there. A spotlight. Radio. There's a couple of Brick Forge ammo boxes. I love using those things as a... Uh, uh, little details and greebles and stuff. Got the uh, power plant laying down sideways, unlike the normal Sentinels where the pipes are sticking up because uh, that, that makes it easier to drop from uh, aircraft. It is poseable. This is articulated, that's articulated. There's a ball joint at the... Was that the heel? Ankle? Ankle, yes. Ankle. But, uh... Since it is stuck on the uh, the little green plate at the moment, I'm not going to show you the posability because there's not really much posing you can do because you just got to keep it supported by the, uh, the clear piece. The head can turn, though, and the weapon can move up and down. I do plan to revisit and upgrade this a little bit. To put the weapon on a ball joint so it can traverse a bit more. But, uh, you know, that, that would be kind of nice. Well, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This was mostly built because uh, I had a hodgepodge of brown, dark green, olive, and I, I just wanted to see what I could do with it. I'm trying to use up uh, whatever olive pieces I had left. And I think it turned out pretty cool. Yeah, it definitely looks like the Sentinel uh, up next to minifigures. It is a uh, pretty proper size, I think. Yeah. All right, there, there is a pilot inside. Let me get him out. Roll cage just pops off. There we go. Not really much of a figure to look at. You know, he's just... Yeah, that's him. What torso did I use on that? Oh, okay. And controls. There's just a couple of joysticks in there. You know, just, just enough to get by for Brick Wars and say, yes, there are controls. And the dude's driving. Um, yeah. Or, oh, that's right. Original, originally, my first Sentinel was a Catachin Sentinel. So it had a, uh, a buzzsaw arm as well. I might add that later just for fun because that would look cool. I don't think Elysian uh, Sentinels have that. Would also be cool to uh, clone the design and build uh, those power loader ones that you see in uh, uh, Deathwing. That's a fun game. Yeah. The power loader ones look neat, though. So, yeah, that is my Sentinel. The Elysian class drop Sentinel. Pretty cool looking. Not very effective for Brick Wars, because, you know, the gun's not very big, but it just looks cool. Next build I have for the Imperial Guard is that. Let me, like, scooch the camera and zoom in. Oh, look at that. We're having magic zoom-in stuff live. By the way, I have a new camera, so that should help later. It is charging, though. It just arrived. So this is a Scorpion class Sentinel weapon. I forget exactly what it is. And I do know it's a... No, it's not a Scorpion. It's a Tarantula. Yes, a Tarantula sentry gun. 
There we go, I remembered. So yeah, got the feet that lock down, stick on the base plate. This rotates, it's got a pair of heavy bolters that can go up and down and it can do a little dance and that's kind of stupid and funny looking. But yeah, there's not much to look at. I mean, it is just a little sentry weapon. But uh, it was a fun little build. Ah! Let's not stick that on that plate anymore. And the bottom is pretty boring. But yeah, looks the part. Sentry gun. Imperial Guard. They like sentry guns. Especially if you've ever played Dawn of War. Just spam the sentry guns. You'll be fine. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of figures for the Imperial Guard. Here's three. I had more, but uh, they were mostly made out of Rebel Trooper parts, and I wanted my Star Wars guys back. So let's look at this guy. This is an Imperial Commissar. Yep. Looks like he's already stopped a coward. He's just got a chain sword. Basic uh, ranged weapon. You know, Imperial Commissar, grouchy dude, yep. Kind of looks like a Russian. I'm, I'm, I don't know why I said that. I mean, obviously he looks like a Russian because he's a Commissar, but whatever. Whatever. Not one step backward, comrade. The Emperor watches. I will make you pay. Next, I have a generic Imperial Guard Sergeant Chainsword. Basic ranged weapon. Really, somebody somewhere needs to make some custom parts that look like uh, LAS pistols or bolters. That would be cool. But then Games Workshop would slaughter them. Uh, his little scanner is supposed to be like an Auspex. And then he's got like a... Radio is supposed to be a Vox box. You know, I, I kind of just wanted to use up some of those uh, accessory pieces on them. But, you know, Imperial Guardsman definitely looks like an Imperial Guardsman. Because, you know, who else uses chain swords? Yeah. I don't want to die. The Tyranids are scary. Check out my handsome face. Where is that face from? I need more of it. That is a good figure print. I must bricklink some of those. And then... I have this Imperial Guard Commander. He has a power fist. He has a plasma pistol. He has fancy shoulder majiggers and a hat. And he is clearly in charge of this army of four people and a gun. Yep. But he's cool looking. You know, he's got a like, custom, like, uh, cape. I mean, a uh, trench coat. Uh, I don't remember if I made that one or if uh, I bought that one from somebody. I do know. Yes, by the way, I can make custom uh, fabric parts. I have been meaning to do a uh, tutorial on that. But I've been busy. Very busy. That's a German hat. But, you know, it's gold and it's an eagle, so it kind of works. I do like this little design I came up with for uh, plasma weapons. It was just three pieces, but it looks kind of neat. Yeah. So that is the Imperial Guard. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe in the name of the Emperor. Or, you know, just subscribe if you like cool Lego stuff. See you next time.